Hi, and welcome back to my shop. This next project I'm about to start is gonna be a little bit different than some of the projects I've done in here in the past. It all started when I was at my local Sawyer picking up some ash. I found this walnut slab, and I thought it would be really cool to be able to incorporate that into a table using the live edge. I also really like the fact that it's uh, air dried slab of walnut. So A, it's, it's really stable. There are absolutely no checks in it. And most importantly, it hasn't been steamed. So the walnut retains all of the natural beauty that sometimes you lose if you get that steamed walnut from kind of your hardwood dealer. So the, the reason this project is gonna be a little bit unique is I'm gonna start by essentially milling down the slab and then figuring out how I wanna build a base underneath it. And that's why this project doesn't have any plans. I don't have any sketch up. It's all going to basically just start with that slab. So the first step I need to do is to get the bark off and actually start milling this. And because it's so wide, this is going to be a heavy duty use of uh, hand tools for this project. Before I really get into flattening and milling the slab, I want to remove the bark and there's a good amount, probably a good inch thick layer of bark on this and it is dried so it's not going to just peel off like it would if it were green wood. What I'm going to use to get the bark off is a draw knife. Now this is something that I actually picked up at an antique show probably two or three years back and I've never even had the need to use it before until now. So I did go and hone it and I've got a fairly good knife edge on there now and it should be more than sharp enough for me to remove the bark. I think the tricky part is just going to be determining which direction to pull the knife and how much bark I can take off at, at a given time. I've never really done this process before, especially with this much bark. So this is going to be uh, me learning as I go along. The way that this piece was cut from the log is um, this was the outside. So it would have curved out this way. Um, so the bark actually is on a little bit of an angle this way. So I only have like an eighth of an inch, well, a quarter of an inch of bark on one side and an inch on the other. So that means in, in order to do this properly, I'm gonna have to hold my draw knife at an angle so I match the angle of the, uh, the actual wood. So I've got this thing firmly clamped into my bench and here goes nothing. This is gonna make a terrible mess. But I will say, I think this is the right tool for the job because this bark's coming off pretty easily. I say that and then I hit a snag right here. Looks like there used to be a branch there. So that'll be a nice little added challenge. But this is really coming right off. This is actually easier than I even expected. Wow, a seed. <laughs> now that I've gotten the majority of the bark removed with the draw knife, I'm gonna switch over to my spoke shave to really refine the surface. And you know, I'm trying to retain pretty much all of the natural contour of the wood. I don't want this to be completely flat and completely uniform, but I do wanna re remove um, all of the remaining layers of bark and this will also leave me a fairly nice surface to then be able to hit with uh, a sander so that I won't have to do a ton of cleanup Towards the far end here, I ran into a couple uh, trouble areas. One is this um, area right here that looks like there was probably a branch at some point that had started to come out there. Same issue here. And of course, because there was a, you know, kind of a branch nub there, the grain is like all crazy. It's going in different directions. It'd be really tough for me to just remove that with um, my draw knife or even the spoke shave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take my bow saw and I'm just gonna saw that so that it's relatively even with the rest of the piece. And then hopefully I'll be able to finish cleaning it up either with one of the shaves or the draw knife or worst case, I'll just have to sand it. But until I get rid of this, I really can't get all of the uh, 
little pieces of bark out. Then I can come back and clean up that area with my spoke shave because I don't have that big knob on there anymore. It's pretty easy for me to just run the shave right, ac right across and it also cleans up all of the uh, saw marks as well. Now that I have all the bark removed and I've done the best I can with my shave, there's still some little areas here and there where there's some tear out. The grain, as you would imagine, is, is undulating here. So it's almost impossible to get a completely tear out free surface. So I will have to do my final cleanup just using my detail sander with 120 grit and that should get rid of uh, any remaining, should get rid of any remaining uh, tear out. Well, I ended up finishing up to 180 grit using my detail sander. And that's as far as I'm gonna go at this point. I'll hit this with, you know, probably 220 uh, when I'm ready to finish the whole thing. And I'll just, I'll just hand sand it at that point. Uh, but this is good enough for me to, uh, you know, know that I've gotten all the bark off, all the, all the uh, tool marks out of there. And this was actually a fairly straightforward process and it was actually faster and easier than I had anticipated. I say that now, of course, now I have to flip this thing over and repeat the same process for the other side. Here you can see uh, both sides are now debarked. I've sanded them both to 180 grit. I still have a little bit more work to do on the inside of the crotch part right here because I couldn't get in there with my spoke shave. So I'm gonna just have to go with some uh, 80 or 60 grit sandpaper and just and get that by hand and hopefully I'm, I can clean that out. Um, but essentially the, the bark is, is off and I have the final shape of the piece. So my next step is going to be uh, planing the top and the bottom and because this is so wide, that also is going to be an exercise in hand tools. Mm -hmm.